Hi guys, this is just going to be a video about the history Hunger Games activity that we'll be doing in class. Um, it's kind of self-explanatory in the sense that we are hosting our own Hunger Games with people that we have learned about throughout this entire year. Um, and so we have 40 little boxes here with people um, and sometimes multiple people, I'll get to that at the bottom, but, uh, that we talked about. And so, um, you are basically, let's read the directions up here that I wrote. Students will choose 12 historical figures from this list to participate in the first annual history games. For each person, the student will give rankings and explanations of their skill, intelligence, social ability, and weapon of choice. These should be historical to the person and weapon of choice should be limited. Okay. So you are going to, let's say I pick Harriet Tubman. I'm going to, in my opinion, rank her skill out of three. So how skillful she would be in the Hunger Games. Um, so you give her a zero, one, two, or three. Okay. Intelligence, same thing. How smart do I think she is? Give her a zero, one, two, or three. Same with social skills. How do they work together with people? Are they kind of a loner? Rate that out of three. Weapon of choice. This is where you put the name of the weapon, right? And rank that out of three. So what weapon are you going to give her? Now, with Harriet Tubman, with Abraham Lincoln, Thomas Edison, right? These historical figures from the past, right? Actually, a lot of these are from the past. What am I saying? You have to have a time period specific weapon of choice, right? Time period specific weapon of choice. So Harriet Tubman can't have a semi-automatic machine gun. She can't, that didn't exist, okay? So make sure that you have something specific to the time period or maybe just specific to them, right? Um, like I know uh, Abraham Lincoln, like somebody, Last year had Abraham Lincoln have like a, a top hat, like his little top hat. And he just like threw that at people, right? Whatever. It doesn't have to be that, but um, make sure it's time period specific. And then in this box here, you're going to rank it out of 12, right? So how are they doing in the, in the actual games, right? And so we have so many people, you're only picking 12. I want to turn your attention down at the bottom of the page here. You can choose a celebrity of your choice. Um, if you want to put a celebrity in there, that's fine. You only get to pick one. Um, and if you also want to put me or Mr. Snow in the games, um, you can choose that. Um, okay, I think that's it for that one. So once you picked your 12 people and ranked them, okay, then you're going to move on to this page. It says, rankings of when each person will be taken out of the history games and an explanation on why. So this is when they're eliminated, right? And so who's the first person to get out of the history hunger games? And you'll write, let's say I'm the first person to get out. You put me in the hunger games. Unfortunately, you would put miss Grady first to lose. Typical, honestly, guys, side note. If you have so much faith in me that I'm going to win the hunger games, I love that. I love that for me. I love that you think that about me, but it's okay if you knock me out first because I'm really only good at running away and I could probably climb a tree. Like, and I'm just going to hide the whole time. Me personally. Now, if you want to put the brave version of me that's going to fight, sure. But let's say that you put the realistic version of me and I get out first. Okay, put my name there. Explain what happens, right? Maybe... Uh, Abraham Lincoln threw some uh, mini top hats at my head and I fell to the ground and that's how I died, right? Could be something like that. Um, in the past, it's been people putting Taylor Swift or Harry Styles in the Hunger Games and it comes down to the fact that I personally as a fan could not kill either one of them. And so that's how I die. You could do that. Or you could be more creative, right? But either way, you need to explain what happens, okay? So then once you go from there, it'll be the first to lose, then 11th, 10th, 9th, 8th, and then you get all the way to the winner. How did they win, right? 
And that is the history of Hunger Games. Um, if you have any questions, as always, send me an email, ask me. Um, and I can't wait to see what you guys do and who you guys pick because it's always just interesting um, to see. All right. Uh, one more thing. There are some some people in here that um, my class, Miss Grady's class, did not learn about. Um, and over uh, at Mr. So's class, there might be some people on here that we learn about, but they didn't learn about. Okay. So if you see a name that you're like, huh, like, what does that mean? Who is that? Um, maybe we, we just didn't learn about it or you just don't remember. Could be either one. Right. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise see you later.